The four steps in brushing your hair are one, right arm reaches for comb. Two, grab comb using cylindrical grasp. Step three, bring comb up to crown of head on right side. Step four, and final step, pull comb downward through hair. Welcome to the Brushology Lab at Dominican University. Today, we will be performing an activity analysis on how to brush your hair. I need help! Uh, the first motion of brushing your hair is the right arm reaches for the comb. This involves shoulder flexion at the glenoid humeral joint. This involves concentric contraction of anterior deltoid, pec major, coracobrachialis, and biceps. Next is slight medial rotation of the humerus at the glenoid humeral joint. This includes concentric contraction of anterior deltoids, latimus dorsi, teres major, subscapularis, and pectoralis major. Next is scapular protraction at the scapular thoracic joint. This includes concentric contraction of serratus anterior and pectoralis minor. Next is pronation of the forearm at the proximal and distal radial ulnar joints. This includes pronator teres and quadratus, pronator quadratus. The next is elbow extension from elbow flexion at the elbow joint. This includes eccentric contraction of biceps brachii and aconius. Finally, we have fingers extension from flexion of digits two through five at the MCP, PIP, and DIP joints. This includes concentric contraction of extensor digitorum, extensor indesis, and extensor minimi. Thank you. The second step in grabbing a comb is um, grasping with a cylindrical power grasp. First, you go finger flexion from finger extension of the MCP, PIP, and DIP joints. This includes concentric contraction of flexor digitorum superficialis and profundus. This also includes flexor digi minimi brevis. Next is wrist flexion of the radiocarpal joint. This includes concentric contraction, the flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris, and palmaris longus. The third step is bringing the comb to the crown of the head, like so, on the right side. The first motion is shoulder flexion from slight shoulder flexion at the glenoid humeral joint. This includes concentric contraction of the anterior delts, biceps brachii, pec major, and coracobrachialis. Next is shoulder elevation at the scapular thoracic joint. This includes concentric contraction of trapezius, rhomboid major, rhomboid minor, and levator scapulae. Next is shoulder abduction at the glenoid humeral joint. This includes concentric contraction of all the deltoids and the supraspinatus. Next is scapular retraction at the glenoid humeral joint. This includes concentric contraction of the trapezius, rhomboid major, and rhomboid minor. Next is elbow flexion from extension at the humeral ulnar and humeral radial joints, or the elbow. This includes concentric contraction of the biceps brachii, brachialis, and brachioradialis. Next is forearm supination to neutral position 
at the proximal and distal radial ulnar joints. This includes concentric contraction of the biceps brachii, the supinator, and the brachioradialis. Next is wrist, wrist extension from flexion at the radiocarpal joint. This includes concentric contraction of extensor carpi radialis, longus and brevis, and extensor carpi ulnaris. Next is finger flexion at MCP, PIP, and DIP. This includes isometric contraction at the FDS and FDP, including the flexor digiti mini brevis. The fourth and final step is going to be bringing the comb downward through the hair. The first step is shoulder adduction from abduction at the glenoid humeral joint. This includes eccentric contraction of all fibers of the deltoids and the supraspinatus. Next is shoulder depression at the scapular thoracic joint. This includes eccentric contraction of the upper fibers of the trapezius, the rhomboids major, rhomboids minor, and the levator scapula. Next is elbow flexion at the humeral ulnar and humeral radial joint, or the elbow joint. This includes isometric contraction of the biceps brachii, brachialis, and brachioradialis. Next is forearm neutral to forearm supination at the radial ulnar joint. This includes concentric contraction of the biceps brachii, supinator, and brachioradialis. With this, wrist flexion from extension at the radiocarpal joint. This includes concentric contraction the flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris, and palmaris longus, if you have one. Finally, good point. <laughs> Lastly is finger flexion at the MCP, DIP, and PIP joints. This includes isometric contraction of the flexor digitorum superficialis, flexor digitorum profundus, and the flexor digiti minimi brevis. This concludes our activity analysis on brushing your hair. As you can see, Adrienne has a nicely combed head of hair. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> now this is a story all about how my life in grass turned upside down and I'd like to take a minute just sit right there I'll tell you how I became the master of how to brush your hair in San Rafael is where I go to school in the classroom where I spend most of my days studying out maxing hard as a fool and all hitting the books outside of school when a couple of kids who had no clue started asking questions about grad school I gave one explanation and they wanted to know How does one master how to brush your hair? I raised my hand for the teacher and when he came near The teacher had a breath and had lice in his hair If anything, I can say this teacher was unaware But I thought, man, forget it, just brush your own hair I pulled out my shampoo, conditioner, and comb And yelled to the teacher, your homes, use this later I looked to my friend, we were finally there We taught someone how to brush their own hair 